In 2013, Facebook launched React, an innovation that had a significant impact on the web development industry, and it was fundamentally changing how we create websites and web applications. It gained recognition by developers and it became a highly popular JavaScript front-end framework among all. Building upon the success of React, Next.js arrived in 2016. This framework leverages React's strengths and adds features like server-side rendering, file-based routing and API routes. Since both are based on JavaScript, it is not an apple-to-apple -apple comparison. However, comparing them will help us to better understand their differences and where to use them in certain scenarios. So let's start by exploring fundamental questions about React and Next.js. First is, what is React.js and Next.js? React.js is an open-source JavaScript library for building dynamic and reusable UI components for web applications. And Next.js is a React framework that builds upon React.js. It offers a structured approach for crafting full-stack web applications. Let's also discuss some specific features of each framework to gain a clearer understanding of which technology to choose for our projects. Let's start with React. React is a component-based architecture that breaks down UIs into smaller, independent components like buttons, menus for better organization and reusability. Another feature of the React.js is Virtual DOM, Document Object Model. The Virtual DOM is a lightweight copy of the actual DOM which allows React to update and render components efficiently. This makes React fast and efficient, especially for large and complex applications. An important feature of React is JSX, that is JavaScript Syntax Extension. It seamlessly integrates HTML and JavaScript, offering a concise and expressive way to write UI code. Developers can leverage the familiarity of HTML while enjoying the power of JavaScript within the same syntax. With all these features, React has become most popular JavaScript library among developers from past decades. Because of that, React has a large and active community of developers making it easier to find resources and support for learning. There are lots of other features also offered by React which are discussed by us in previous videos, so let's shift to explore the specific features of Next.js. As we discussed, Next.js is a React-based framework, so it becomes equipped with all the features of React, but there are some other features which make it first preference for the developer nowadays. Next.js boasts features like server-side rendering and static site generation. These allow applications to be pre-rendered on the server or generate static HTML files, leading to better SEO and faster initial load times for users. This means that the users who visit a Next.js powered website will see the fully rendered content immediately without waiting for JavaScript to load. Next.js also has a new feature called built-in routing. It manages navigation between different pages within the web application. This intuitive approach makes routing easy to manage and understand. Next.js incorporates automatic image optimization techniques, ensuring images are delivered efficiently without compromising quality. This translates to faster page load times for your users. This is how Next.js is also equipped with other features, which are also described by us in some of our videos. Those links are shared in the description. With all these features, we can simply understand the basic differences of both. By evaluating these differences, we can effectively determine which technology, React or Next.js, is the best fit for your new web projects.